what's up, Zach King here with a tutorial for Final Cut Pro. I've got a list of five things that you absolutely must be doing in Final Cut Pro to save your time. Today I'm going to be covering a couple of shortcuts, but I'm going to do a couple more videos like this for different aspects. In terms of shortcuts, I use these probably every 10 to 30 seconds in editing some of these. So, first one, the B key. Okay, this is splicing, very simple. This is the first basic thing you learn in Final Cut Pro. If you don't know it, you're wasting a lot of time if you're going over here still to the icon and hitting the splice tool. Go ahead and hit B, key command to do that, and hit A to get back to the arrow key. So these two, A and key command B, then you're done. Now if I want to actually delete this here, what I can actually do is a ripple delete. Instead of deleting and going ahead and pulling my tire track back over and then lining it up and dropping it in, you can do a ripple delete simply by hitting shift delete and it rippled all the way down. Basically what it did is pulled everything in and dropped it in instead of me manually doing it. Tip number two, full screen playback. I'm gonna undo what I just did because this is a commercial and I don't wanna mess up. So if I need to do a full screen playback here, instead of trying to hassle this guy in and pulling it all the way open, instead of doing that, I'm gonna go back to arrange and make that my two up. You can go to view, come down to video playback and make sure your actual desktop is selected or if you have another monitor hooked up you can select that as well as your viewer and go ahead and select it go back to view external video and then all frames starting from the frame your playheads on you can hit play and you're gonna see the commercial plays no problem in your video hit escape to escape that window and you're back to normal now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and show you the option key I use this all the time instead of selecting something and locking the track just so I can get to the video track what you can do is hold down option if I want to select just this top clip here hold down option and select and then I can delete or do whatever I want with that clip same works with audio files audio layers and that's the option key one more tip in the browser over here if you want a quicker way to scan your material go ahead and hold shift H when you do this, you're changing the organization layout of the icon so you can actually see stuff. Another cool tip here is you can hold down Control shift and you can actually scrub through your media and look at these different takes. So that's a cool little way. You can also change the icon. The last one you leave it on is the icon it'll stay at. Shift H is the key command. You're switching back between the organization list. So there's five Final Cut Pro tips that you absolutely must be doing and putting in your editing repertoire. I have some brand new training out, FinalCutKing.com. Go ahead and comment below and tell me what kind of shortcuts you guys are using all the time. I'll see you guys in the next video.